What is up, guys? It is your boy Brent Vegas here, and welcome to another video. And before we get into today's video, I want to specifically also talk about why is it actually pretty light outside. Usually, I record these videos during the nighttime. Um, kind of because of the fact that I'm currently in a concussion protocol, so I'm not at school at the moment. Uh, just didn't feel like it really. Um, but I do feel okay. If you guys are wondering, um, but yeah, but before we get into today's video, like and subscribe, we are getting on the road again to 450 subscribers. But anyway, enough said, let's get into the video. So, we're gonna be going off now today's game, which this is gonna be a very interesting Thursday night game, not gonna lie. We got the San Francisco 49ers, aka the 40 Winers, as I like to call them, taking on the Seattle Seahawks, which the one thing I've been starting to notice at the West that I guess isn't the Arizona Cardinals is every team is basically rappled by injuries. And the Seahawks are no different. They have been rappled by injuries specifically on the front seven. And the Niners are also rappled with injuries as well. So it's kind of going to be an interesting game just to see how it's going to be. Like again, without the Niners, without Chris McCaffrey, their offense isn't really the same, but their defense... Also hasn't been the same, which they kind of didn't look good against the Arizona offense, which I imagine our offense could probably do the same thing with the Niners, so that might be a bit of a tricky one. But I do think I have the Niners winning here, just because this Seattle's defense has just not really been good, doing great on defense specifically, so sorry, but I think we're going to lose. Then we got the London game. We got the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Chicago Bears. And I think I want to go with Jacksonville to win in here. I think they're just really good at winning in London, which I think makes a lot of sense of why they will beat the Bears here. Then we got to the 12 o'clock games, which we got the Bucks versus the Saints to start with these 12 o'clock games. And I think I want to go with the Bucks to win here. I think the Bucks just have a way better team. Like, offensively, maybe not defensively. Their defense hasn't been really doing that good. So, this could be a very good game for Derek Carr. But, again, we also have a defensively. So, there you go. Then we got another interesting um, game up on our hands. We've got the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Green Bay Packers. The Packers have been a very sloppy team, I would say, in the past two seasons. With the past two games on offense, but then your defense has also kind of been a little interesting. And Arizona just beaten the San Francisco 49ers, which the Packers aren't really known for beating them. But I think I'm going to go with Arizona to win this game here. I think Arizona, like, they just have a good history, and with the Packers not having been doing that well at throwing the ball, I think this makes a little bit of sense. Up next, then we also still got. 12 o'clock games, uh, Colts versus the Titans. I think this is going to be another interesting game, but I think to me, I think I'm going to go with the Colts here. Even if they don't have Michael Pittman, they do get Jonathan Taylor back, which I imagine he could be a big addition to that offense. But also, again, Josh Downs, they still have all those other receivers, so yeah. And also, we still got the Browns versus the Eagles, 12 o'clock game. I think this should be an easy win for the Philadelphia Eagles, who just had a bye week to outmatch the Cleveland Browns. Then we got the next game, Texans versus Patriots. I think this should be also a very simple one with the Texans winning here. And then our last 12 o'clock game, which I think is the best out of all of them, we got the Washington Commanders taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens have been looking very interesting the past couple of weeks, and the only really look to be a contender versus the Chiefs. And then you got the Commanders, who have also been really kicking a lot of people's butts as of late. But I do think I have Baltimore winning. I think the 6.5, though, is a little bit too leaning towards the Ravens, in my opinion. Then, now with the 3 of 5 games, we got the Chargers versus the Denver Broncos, and these are both teams that I've been kind of on an interesting trajectory right now. The Chargers just had a bye week, which was near and needed because they were raveled with injuries. And then the Broncos, who have had a Game 3 winning skid. 
So I think, honestly, I think I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos. I think they're probably going to win this game just because the Chargers, they're still, again, kind of recovering from injuries. So I think that's what I'm going to go with here. Then we got the Steelers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. And the Raiders are a very weird team to specifically talk about because they've beaten the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens, but then they've also lost to the Par Carolina Panthers. And the Steelers have also been dropping a bit backwards as of late with the Steelers and the Colts losing two straight. I don't imagine them losing three straight, so I do got the Pittsburgh Steelers winning this game. Then we got the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers. And I think I'm going to go with the Panthers to win this game. Panthers are usually going to beat the Falcons once a year. And I think it might be here at home, so give me the Panthers. Oh, but, and our last 325 matchup, because the, the pa Falcons-Panthers game was also a 325 matchup, we got the Detroit Lions taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And... I think this is going to be a very interesting game to see where Dallas Cowboys are currently at at the moment and where could they be heading into the future. And same thing with Detroit. So this is going to be a very interesting game to watch, but I think I'm definitely going to go with Detroit here. Again, I think they should be easily cooking on offense, and I think their defense may have a bit of a struggle, but not that entirely huge. Then we got the Sunday night game. We got the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the New York Giants, which this is actually going to be a pretty interesting game to look at. Because the Giants, I think, have now won two straight games, which is against the Browns and the Seahawks, where they're also going against another not great defense than the Bengals, but almost beaten the Baltimore Ravens last week. So I think I definitely am going to go with the Bengals here, not because I think their defense, but is better, obviously, but I think their, their offense is much more explosive than the Giants. And the Bills versus the Jets, Monday night game. I think I'm definitely going to have the Bills here. The Jets have been looking to functional, and this is going to be the first game without Robert Stallard as head coach. And also, they just came back from London, which they only had an extra day to prepare for this. So I think that just makes a little bit of sense. Then we're going to rank the teams on bye weeks. This is going to be a very interesting one. Uh, this is actually very interesting to rank these teams. So the number one team I think that easily needed the bye week was the LA Rams. This team really was raveled by injuries. And they're also one win teams. So I think this is pretty needed, especially with a lot of teams in their division that could most likely lose. So that's actually going to be a good thing for the Rams. Then you got the second team. I think it's going to be the Minnesota Vikings. They are coming from London. And, well, you know, teams usually struggle when they come back to America without a bye week. And then also, then you got the Miami Dolphins, which, again, they're also pretty much rivaled by injury. So they also could use the help as well. And then they got the Kansas City Chiefs because they're undefeated. So I think it's a bit, I think it makes a lot of sense. But what do you guys think, Dan? comment section below. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.